bloops. Hey beauts, please excuse the handheld setup. I'm just filming a quick intro because the one I originally filmed went out of sync with the sound, like one of those badly dubbed kung fu movies. Hoo so today I'm filming a video which my other half described as a look when he saw it. Um, it's weird to say the least, but it's basically the amalgamation of my top five most watched videos on YouTube. And I got the idea from the lovely Mikey from Glam and Gore, so thank you Mikey. My top five videos are number one, Glitter Tits. Number two, Zombie Bunny. Number three, How to Make a Merkin. Number four, The Old Lady from The Shining. And number five, Carrie. So I combined these five and the results were rather interesting. So keep on watching to see how it came out. You may be wondering how the hell you combine the five looks that I mentioned. So here goes. I present to you the first part, the merkin. Now incidentally, if I feel, if I feel, if I sound tired in this voiceover, it's because I am. My baby girl is currently teething and she has a cold and these two are not a combination that is conducive to sleep. Trust me. So I'm knackered. But anyway, there you saw me cutting out the merkin and sticking some jewels on and that was all there was to it really. And here you see me making my zombie rabbit ears. Now I'm not going to talk you through this like I would a traditional tutorial because there are the full tutorials for each of these looks so you can go and watch those if you would like to know how to create each of these looks so I'm just gonna chat this shit to you basically so yeah there you can see I have made my uh, ears and now I'm making the teeth I wanted to take the sort of the the most iconic bits from each look, the bit that was kind of the, the defining part of each look. So for the bunny, that was the muzzle and the ears. And for the merkin, that was the merkin. I mean, what else can you do with a merkin other than to just be a merkin? For the old lady from The Shining, it was the old ladiness of her and also the rotten flesh kind of aspect of her. So here you see me making myself look old or older. I probably kind of look a little bit like this at the moment from my lack of sleep. Sleep deprivation is torture. Torture. It's a good job she's so cute. One smile in the morning and I forget the fact that she's kept me awake all night. Back to what defines each look, so glitter tits is obviously glitter on tits, not really much more you can say about that. And Carrie is quite clearly the blood. The blood is what makes Carrie. So that was all the things I chose. As it was a while since I created these looks, I've kind of forgotten how to do them. So in case you were wondering, yeah, I was following my own tutorial because, yeah, just easier, isn't it? It was a good tutorial. I can, I can highly recommend it. Anyway, so just deepening up all those wrinkles. Now, earlier on, I said that I wasn't going to talk you through the tutorial, and here I am talking through the tutorial. Old habits die hard. What can I say? Yeah, stupidly, I started doing the old lady lips, and then realised that I have a bunny muscle, muscle, <laughs> bunny muscle, bunny muscle, and there was no point. Anyway, so yeah, making the wrinkled skin with the latex. This is a great technique for making your skin look really wrinkled and old. Um, so while you see me doing this, I'm just going to talk about my upcoming content. I mentioned um, more, more at the beginning of the year that I would be creating some new type of content for Pretty Scary, which is more sustainable now that I have a little one to look after. I am still planning on doing that, but I am finding the challenges of balancing motherhood and YouTube and a couple of other new platforms that I am also on, which I'll tell you about in a moment, and setting up an art business and being in a show at the moment rather challenging i don't do things by halves i like to take on a lot of shit at one time so yeah here you see me doing some age spots by the way so anyway onto this new content so 
I will be still recreate, recreating. I will, oh God, I told you I was tired, didn't I? I will still be creating this new content, but it's just taking a little longer to kind of get myself sorted and organized, whilst also keeping all my millions of balls juggled in the air. Anyway, so the two new platforms I'm on. One is called Firework and it's brilliant. It's a new short video platform, um, kind of a bit like Vine, but new and dynamic and exciting and yeah, brilliant. So you can go and follow me on there. I shall pop the details below. It's a free app to download and it's got some really entertaining stuff on there. So I would highly recommend it. The other new app I am on is one called Mikosu, which is for cosplayers. And oh, by the way, that's me starting the glitter tits look. So I just paint my boobs black, as you do. And I'm just creating the moldy old lady bit here. Anyway, back to Mikosu. So Mikosu is a cosplayer tutorial platform specifically for people who love cosplay to go and find tutorials on how to make costumes, how to create makeup looks and it's different to YouTube and in that the tutorials are broken down into sections so you can easily skip to the section that you particularly want to look at and there's also a list of all the products used in the videos and direct links to those products so that you can literally just have a shopping list there ready waiting for you so you can recreate that look and you can just click on all those links and buy the products and it's great and also a huge bonus for me is that both of these are paid platforms now that I've been demonetized by YouTube so although I still love you YouTube you are not paying my bills anymore and I don't know whether you ever will so it's great to have these other two platforms alongside of YouTube so that I can actually put some food on the table anyway back to the video I am doing the bunny so to speak creating the bunny not doing the bunny and you can see there that I've also stuck the jewels onto the glitter tit and you can see me here creating the bunny muzzle and the teeth and just kind of you know detailing that and stuff um Halloween this year I normally go big on Halloween I couldn't last year because I was pregnant and not very well and my baby was due etc 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 this year I still won't be going as big as I have other years but I do want to do some really good stuff so currently thinking about that so if you've got any ideas for things you'd like to see then just pop a comment below and I will consider it and now on to the carry portion. So I've done the merkin, that's number one. I've done the bunny, that's number two. I've done the old lady, that's number three. I've done the glitter tits, that's number four. And carry is number five. So here we go. Right, so this is the finished, completely ridiculous look. We have glitter boobs. We have old lady from The Shining. We have Zombie Bunny, we have Carrie, we have Merkin. If you liked it too, please give it a big thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought and let me know if you'd like to see more of these kind of weird challenges as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.